I know you love your singing and your dancing, but were you ready for your Star Trek singing and dancing? Hello, friends. I'm the man you may know as Z, and I am here to talk about Star Trek Brave New Worlds, the musical episode. I have not watched any of Brave New Worlds. It's just not for me. New Trek is not for me. But I felt I would give it a chance just because the Star Trek nerd in me was curious. And I'm going to give you a little bit of street cred as to my Star Trek nerddom. I have a pewter Klingon battle cruiser I would like to show you. You see that? You ain't got one of them, but I do. <laughs> I also have a bird of prey, Klingon bird of prey. I'm not going to show you. Uh, I can't get it to focus, but it's here. Ooh, look, it's flying. Look, I have the Enterprise D, pewter edition. You like that? Oh, you ain't got that either. That's right. So let's talk a little bit about Star Trek. And I'm not here. Look, to me, unfortunately... Star Trek is dead. It's been dead ever since it got the Kelvin universe. J.J. Abrams killed it, stuck a fork in it, and then they started making this absolute garbage Trek. Discovery, no thanks. I tried Lower Decks. It's a bunch of references, and I fell asleep and didn't like it. Um, what other... I can't... Picard, good, good gravy. Until Mateus gave us... Picard season three, which was knocked it out of the park. Greatest Star Trek I've seen since next, like since Star Trek <laughs> was a real thing. You got to remember back in the day, Star Trek was state of the art. Like it wasn't hokey. It, you know, we may look back and be like, oh, this looks cheap and hokey. But for the time it was put in, it was actually groundbreaking. But now they've decided to take it in a brand new world. I mean, with all the various treks, you've never had a musical episode. And do I think it was inappropriate to make a musical episode? I'm of two schools of thought. One is Star Trek is so far gone, I don't care what you do. And the other one is you are desecrating something that is was important to me. But I think I've moved on. You, you've I hate the things you make now, so I'm okay if you want to make a musical episode. You know, it, it, I mean, Buffy did it. So, and you guys all love what Joss Whedon has done to everything. So let's just go with it. Now, what I want to do with this episode here of Our Reviews Will Kill You is show you the great part. There are, there's two things that were great. One is something that happened in the episode, and the other is the greatest Star Trek musical ever actually made. I'll give you, uh, I'm going to play them for you, so, so, so hang tight. I will get there. But this was called Subspace Rhapsody, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. The showrunners were like, uh, <laughs> most Trek fans went into Thursday night's musical episode of Star Trek New Worlds with a bit of trepidation, half expecting some cringe moments to unfold as the director, cinematographer, writers, composers, and actors try to pull off something they had never attempted in the Noble's hist uh, Noble franchise's 57-year history. Yeah, there's <laughs> probably a reason for that because nobody wants to see anybody sing. And it worked brilliantly. It was really... No, it was not brilliant. Um, look, I don't care anything about, like, music, like Broadway. I it's just not... It's not my... I want to hear about, like, warp nacelles and tachyon streams and tricorder readings and samples... So much auto tune was used in this. It was just, now it wasn't as cringy as it should have been. I mean, it was terrible. It was like an hour and fifteen minutes. It was too long. Too much. Uh, it was just too long. None of the, I couldn't tell you a single song other than like I'm sorry. I do remember. Didn't they say something about the rent? The rent is past due. No, that's a different. I'm sorry. <laughs> Akiva Goldsmith and Henry. Uh, Alonzo Myers, what makes you think that you should have a full-on 
ra- subspace ra- like why so <laughs> here's the funniest okay here's the funniest thing to me about this whole thing is they did a catch up to the episode i have not seen a single season of brave new worlds all that they were doing to catch everybody up they'd summarized that people had feelings for each other and had problems. I was like, is this show a soap opera? Like, what am I even watching here? Like, it was no plot about, like, discovering new things and there being a crisis. No, it was, oh, your fee I care a lot about your fee No, your fee are more important than my fee Like, St- Scott, Scott, Sc- Spock, the guy who plays Spock, who has the deepest voice ever, was is upset that this blonde chick doesn't like him and i guess whoever the captain is uh that guy who who, anson mount who i think is black bolt in the marvel universe or whatever that dude he also has a problematic relationship with his girlfriend who i i I, whatever man it was it was just stupid (laughs) it was so stupid What a waste. Um, But there was one amazing thing that we took out of this. Because I I can't... There was no... The plot was they were trying to do something and a song. And they were singing about their Fifi's. You literally can't make this up. How Any last Star Trek fans that they had that were real fans must be like dead. They all have died and are have gone... You know, it's one of those things where you're kind of like wishing that you were dead so that you didn't have to live long enough to see Star Trek <laughs> turn into this garbage. Because, don't look, there's been musical performances on Star Trek. Most of them were classical pieces of musical art, like Data playing, uh, you know, Beethoven's Concerto or Riker playing some old uh, jazz piece. Not like, oh, we're just singing for no... Why are we singing the plot of this show? It's terrible. (laughs) But they originally had the idea, and this is how bad... This is when you know it's real bad. They originally were going to do this in (laughs) Picard Season 2. Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. They were going to do it in Picard first. Of course they were going to do it in Picard first. Who, of course, I'd want to hear Picard sing some freaking what? I like, no. And they were going to put his wife in it, whatever, man. Like, Akiva, get, go get no. Akiva Goldsmith, the other showrunner for Star Trek Picard. These guys should all be like neutered and fired. And th- th- you just know. No. P- Picard's wife. Patrick Stewart's wife is a talented singer, Sonny Ozell. Oh, yeah. Let's put her in this because I want to waste more of my life. Um, apparently, the people for, who, who were in the band Letters to Cleo wrote a bunch of the stuff. Yeah, it's su- super awesome. You know, I, it's no, 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 no. Like seven different series, eight different series, ten different. I don't know how many series of Star Trek there have been. There've been a lot, and fifty-seven years, and this is what you bring us. Thanks, but it's time for us to. We're, this is the good part, folks. I promised you I'd play something good. I'm gonna give you the best part of the show. When I originally heard about this, I thought I was gonna die of cringe, but then when I actually heard it, I was like, "This is the best part of the episode." I just I gotta share it with you. Why you only calling us when you got your dramas? What are these days when we're paying? Yeah, it's. I, I gotta pause it because I'm gonna get copyright strike. So I, I figure I, you know, we'll, we'll listen to that last little refrain again just to get a little taste. <laughs> like it was of course it was embarrassing to the Klingons and they wanted to kill whoever was making them do this why they were boy band I don't know but I will say it was so cringy and terrible it's genius so that's the one thing of genius it's not even genius it's so bad it's, it's just crazy but I will now play you the Robot Chicken Wrath of Khan musical which could be the greatest musical of all times
It's also in Italian, if you didn't know, which makes it amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> La Cochica di Chique Morirò. Illogica di Chique Morirò. Beautiful. Il mio amico. Il mio amico. <laughs> Sorry if I sang over. You guys can look it up for yourselves. Enjoy it. Those are the, that's what I had to say. That's what it is. This is what this would start. At least I can to get it in Italian in a beautiful sonata or something like that. I don't need don't need what I got. But again, the episode it wasn't terrible. I mean, it was terrible, but it wasn't like the worst thing I've ever seen. It was pretty bad, but it wasn't the worst thing. I thought it would be cringier. I was hoping it would be cringier. I think the biggest problem is it wasn't as exciting as it could have been, you know. I could I don't you know what I don't even know. I I am clearly brain dead at this point. If you like what you heard here, catch us on our full length audio podcast. You can catch it for free. It's on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. We live stream here on YouTube and we are also on Rumble too. Come catch us there. Like and subscribe. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, no, 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 prize is gonna go down. Anyway, we love you. I'm on to the next one.